My mother warned me never to make an enemy of a witch. By the pricking of my thumbs, something awesome this way comes. Dishonored's final DLC wraps up Master Assassin Dowd's story that started in the Knife of Dunwall. With plenty of fanfare along with a strong supernatural pull, the Witch's Coven lets Dishonored burn brightly for a few more hours. I'm gonna loot your corpse! Jumping into this campaign without playing the previous one is possible, but not recommended, even with the borderline fan service intro doing a decent job of setting up the story. Dowd still has his bag of tricks from the first DLC chapter, The Knife of Dunwall, along with a few original augments and gugaws. The most interesting of the additions are corrupted bone charms, which offer Faustian deals of tremendous perks shackled to substantial penalties. Like the previous installment, money and runes are plentiful, allowing you massive leeway from the get-go on how to kit out Dowd allowing you to really dabble in the new corruption elements. The missions presented here are as deeply knotted as before, strewn with possibilities and begging for additional playthroughs. The steampunk angle is played up with the gears and levers, serving more obvious purposes, while vast rooftops in the teleportation game is toned down a notch for more nuanced disguises and swinging allegiances. The ability to do favors also returns, letting you choose to spice up your mission with more variety and intrigue. Prison breaks, boat jacking, and sewer excursions reveal new wrinkles in the Dunwall we've grown used to, and the final assault on Brigmore Manor offers a harrowing encounter with devil dogs in broad daylight. As both the counterpart and conclusion to Knife of Dunwall, the Brigmore Witches doesn't innovate as much as its predecessor, choosing instead to sharpen the point and deliver a killer blow for those who have stuck with dishonor. If you know who Dowd is and what he's capable of, you'll certainly want to see his story through.